Looks like a new look with the goatee. How did that come along? That's just a full camp thing with the guys, you know, just messing around. One of our tight ends, Joey Belgian, he's had a beard for like a long time now. And I was like, listen, like I finally started growing out the beard. If you go goatee, I'll go goatee. And he was really, really hesitant and he ended up doing it. So I was like, I'll do it. What are, your, what are your thoughts on higher ground? getting out here this is unlike anything else in college football yeah no it's been good a little toastier than than back at at Nippert but uh you know it's good it's good to get out here really helps build connections with the guys and you know it's just it's just been fun you know kind of get away from all the distractions and everything else and just really get folks on football how's the food it's been good food's been good maybe a little too good I'm starting to go back up a little bit I need to <laughs> need to go back down a little bit more so nah it's been good I joke but uh yeah, it's been really good. Are you ready to unleash the, the inner Josh Allen on Saturday? Yeah. Or whenever they let you? Hopefully I'm not live on Saturday, but uh, the first time I am live, yes, I am more than happy to uh, try to go run through a couple guys and, you know, have some fun out there and, and go play football again. And what's it like for, for any quarterback when you have an offensive line like this? And obviously you've gotten used to these guys now, but what's it allow you to do when you have that group? Uh, it allows you to go through your progression a little bit more. You know, you know, you have more time back there, and and you know they're going to do their job. They're smart guys. They've been here. They got to play together last year, and and they've only gotten better. So you know, obviously, it's it's been a great fall camp with those guys, and a great spring and summer and all that. And you know, I'm just ready to get behind them this year. You seem pretty comfortable throwing the ball over the middle. Has that always kind of been you know part of your game plan, staying in the pocket? And letting things develop? Uh, whenever I was younger, obviously you always want to go more towards the outside. You're not as comfortable throwing towards the middle, but as I've gotten a little bit more game experience and started to get more reps and everything, I've definitely gotten more comfortable throwing over the middle. Brendan, you told us near the end of spring ball that you felt round a six or a seven with the comfortability of the playbook. Where are you sitting right now with that aspect? Probably an eight or nine. You know, obviously still some, some small things that I can get better at, but definitely feel really good about the playbook. You've taken care of the ball in your career, but how much do you think this offense needs to be able to hit throws down the field? And, and what's that balance for any quarterback of taking care of the ball but taking shots? Yeah, absolutely. Like you just said, you know, there's a there's a fine line of being too aggressive, but you, you have to have those shots down the field. I think it's, it's tremendous for your run game. I think the run game that we have is going to help those shots down the field. And, you know, like you just said, you got to hook up whenever you do take them, and you just got to make sure that you're giving your guys a chance and that you got to trust them that they're going to go make the plays. Has the in-ear communication made it easier, or do you like the hand signals? What's the adjustment been like in that? Um, coming from a different system where all the signals are all jumbled, you know, all of them have different meanings from my last school, and uh, I definitely like having the, the intercom, but uh, definitely need to know the signals as well, which we've been working on, the walkthroughs and all that stuff. So the the communication in the headset's been been really helpful, but obviously still got to know the signals. Give me three receiver standouts. You probably want to give me more. Yeah, definitely more. We have a ton of them, but uh, obviously Xavier Henderson's been really good. Um, Jamoy, Jamoy that just got here, he's been really good. And then I'm going to go more than – I'm going more. I, I feel bad leaving guys out because uh, – but Tony, Tyron Smith, and Aaron Turner for sure. Those guys right there have all been, been re really helpful alongside all the other guys. A lot of youth in that secondary. It seemed like they're challenging you guys every day. For, for yeah. being young, they don't seem to play. They seem to be playing fast. Yeah, for sure. No, our uh, we're really deep in really every position in the secondary. But our safeties, you know, they talk a lot of trash at lunch and everything. And we have to keep reminding them that we keep bombing them over the top and everything. So uh, it's been really fun, really really fun getting out here and, and and messing around with those guys and you know challenging them and they're challenging us. That three high safety look is unique. Uh, how has that helped with your development progressions in this offense? Yeah, not a lot of teams do it, so it's definitely helpful getting to go against a tough look every day. And, you know, obviously it's tough to throw against the three safeties, you know, over the middle, deep, all that, all that good stuff. So, you know, whenever you get to go against it every day, it makes going against normal defense, I want it, normal defense, but uh, that's not normal out there. So whenever you're going against normal defenses, it makes it a lot easier. Having a young guy like Samaj in the room, what have you thought of him so far this preseason and just – what can you do as a veteran quarterback to help any young guy along? Yeah, you know, just keep helping him out. Anything he needs help with, I'm more than willing to help, and, and I let him know that as well. And he's unbelievably talented. He's got a crazy arm on him. So, you know, he's just got to stay the course. Still a young guy. I mean, every quarterback goes through it. You know, um, as long as he's getting better every day, I think he's going to be in a really good spot. Does your baseball background help you out with different arm angles? You know, Mahomes like sort of. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just uh, out on the move. 
anything you got to the ball out quick, definitely baseball has helped a lot. One more for Brendan. The tight end room obviously is a big uh, point of emphasis heading into this season. Talk about what you've seen from them and guys like Joe Roy or Joey Belgian, and the list goes on. Yeah, you know, we got to really, we were just messing around in the locker room about it. They're all, we got a lot of old guys and then a lot of young guys, and there's no in between. So, um, you know, the old guys have definitely been helpful for the young guys, and I think that, that we're going to be really good at tight end this year. And, and obviously, y'all can see that out there on the practice field. You know, I feel really good about that tight end room and just excited to get out there with the guys. Thanks, Brendan. Cool. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks for your time, man.